Hey guys, it's Terrence here. I just wanted to give you a quick video on how to uh, modify the background color in your Anki cards when viewing them. You can modify any of the styling as it's done in a HTML format and you can't, well basically HTML format. There's some rules for doing that um, on the Anki website but simply put basically you're gonna want to click add here and choose the node type that you want to be modifying. In this case, I'm choosing close. And then we want to modify the card and the card styling. As you can see here, it has the basic HTML header styling for the dot card. This is the general styling for the card. And these are for the, this is the styling for the specific uh, close areas of the card so basically when you highlight something you close it this will modify that now you can this is only has the font weight and the color you can add in more um, information if you like to modify it more but basically right here under card where it says background color we can change this to white we can change it to black we can change it to blue anything you wish one other benefit uh, which I like about this is you can, well you can change the standard font size the text I, and in fact this is in Arial just because I have I install and reinstall Anki all the time or uninstall and, and reinstall but uh, I prefer Verdana or you know, a Calibri type font and you can modify the font family here as well um, in, in another video of mine where I talk about uh, oh, what is it I talk about something uh, that's real helpful. I talk about uh, modifying the card types in order to get a conditional statements in here. I go into a, a lot further depth on how to modify the cards and add a bunch of fields and cards and card types and colors and stuff. But um, so it, it uses anyways. Background color can utilize the HTML five character uh, format which I like because you can get um, a lot a lot better uh, a lot more accurate color than what um, you're used to so this is a this, or you can get a lot more color so there's 16 million as you can see here so you can take this color here and I can get this exact color 38 it's actually six characters 38 million 30, 380,000 so I'll add that in there So there you go, and this should be this should be maintained across computers, browsers, whatever. So this is you know something you can do if you want to look those up. You can go to the w3schools.com, which is basically the standard for uh, HTML learning and HTML referencing. And here's a list of the colors. You can go through all of them. They have a lot, and you can choose your number here that you prefer. I was talking about the uh, road signs uh, for. Uh, you know, better, easy, easy eye viewing, and they use a dark green color, and and um, I, it's it's over here in this uh, area over here. I can't tell you. I can't remember the exact color. I actually play with it a lot, and I don't have it anymore. But I do. It was something over here that, or like in a gray. It's like a forest type green, and you can look it up and uh, see. So you can see studies on on those if you'd like to look and mess with those. So you have it basically, then you close it up. So I have 3,800 here. Close it up. I'll make one. Help me study. Close it. Click OK. And then now we can look at it. And you'll see that it is the, I mean, I would obviously choose different colors for this. But you can see, you can change this close color right here. You change that to, um, and there's directions for that all over. But, uh. That's how you do it, and uh, that was pretty quick and easy. So, good luck. Good luck studying, and wish me luck. <laughs>